Hey there, it's time for 2014's first experimental airlines design, the Donkey. I call it the Donkey because it's meant to carry heavy things up high, um, and it's just a, it's kind of fun to say, Donkey, don't you think? Uh, this is the successor to the J. Scott, which you'll remember met a very untimely demise at the, uh, at the controls of the namesake, Josh Scott, but uh, bless him, he's a noob and things happen. So what I've done is built a, a bigger, beefier, uh, scaled up version of the J. Scott, that's the donkey, and it has the, the same uh, mission, as it were, which is to drop uh, full soda cans. Now, we never got to see that happen on flight test, but I promise you're going to see it here, with and without parachutes. As for the basic specs on the donkey, I'll refer to my little uh, built-in dry erase board here. It is a uh, 1690 grams, that's 60 ounces, and that's with a five amp hour battery uh, on board without payload. It's uh, 41 inches long from spinner to elevator and is a, has a 56 inch wingspan. That's two arm and wings, a five inch airfoil cord, one and a half inch control surface. It has half span ailerons, half span flaps, Today I'll be flying the donkey with this Two Dogs RC Mad Dog 5 amp hour 3 cell battery. Uh, it's 35C discharge rate. It's kind of neat too, it also lists the uh, watt hours, 55.5, which is uh, the 5 amp hours times 11.1 .1 volts. It's kind of neat. Uh, seems to be a pretty solid battery. So this is the kind of carnage from cans dropped without parachutes. Uh, this one's from about 50 feet. Uh, you can see the top just opens up, bottom bulges out, gets a nice splash. Good for low level uh, precision. This is about a 150 foot drop. You can see the bottom just ruptures off, gets a really nice splash. And this one's about 300 feet up. Uh, the bottom is, I couldn't even find. This makes a nice audible pop. The horizontal stabilizer is 20 inches. Vertical stabilizer is 10 inches. Uh, that's a little bit excessive, I admit, but I like in slow flight to have a, a very generous amount of vertical surface. 
uh, to provide good yaw stability, um, especially when dropping cargo and doing short takeoffs and landings at low speed. It has a hatch up front uh, for placement of a battery, four to five amp hour. It has a, a 55 uh, amp trust ESC here with uh, fins uh, exposed and facing forward to provide cooling air through these two cowling holes here. Uh, this is um, admittedly it's a little blocky and ugly, but it, it does the trick. This is a piece of balsa that's sandwiched between gift cards fore and aft. And the nose gear uh, hardware is screwed to that, as is, of course, the motor mount here. I have the receiver placed on that hatch door here and uh, the old usual meso wires. There is a satellite receiver placed well clear of the cargo and all the other wiring. It's uh, behind this little semi-accessible hatch. The uh, antenna elements are oriented vertically for best reception, and these are oriented uh, sort of horizontally. Here is the cargo release mechanism. It's just a, uh, a beefed up area with a gift card, a Metal Gear servo attached to it, and the servo arm reaches over this uh, piece of micarta. It's a G10 FR4 from ePlastics. Micarta is kind of the brand name, and the servo arm just slips over that, and when actuated, it moves out of the way. The door falls open. The cargo, can or otherwise, falls out. The main gear are two and a half inch uh, foam wheels on eighth inch music wire, just bent in a V up through a groove in the rear uh, cargo uh, bulkhead here. It's a piece of balsa. I put a piece of micarta over that just so I could screw to that this piece of titanium plate, which forms the uh, wing mounting screws. Those nylon screws protrude up through the fuselage and to this position. And those metal screws go through the micarta into the balsa. The forward uh, cargo bulkhead is a piece of balsa, which is gently screwed through with washers, and that forms the uh, forward wing mounting point. The nose wheel is a two inch foam wheel uh, and is steerable, also on eighth inch music wire. The power plant is a Turnigy NTM prop drive, 3536, 1400 kV. This is the powerhouse, if you've seen that video. I'm using a, a 10 by seven three blade prop. Uh, looks cool, gets great gr ground clearance, runs really quiet. The basic fuselage length is the usual nominal 30 inches, that's Dollar Tree foam board, board length from here to here. And to get this additional length of fuselage, what I did is cut off this angle here and instead of discarding it, I flipped it around and provided an additional uh, five inches of fuselage here, reinforced on the inside here, top, left, and bottom, and then just put a piece of foam board over that. I've become a real fan of uh, the vinyl tape from tapebrothers.com uh, just to wrap the trailing and leading edges of the horizontal vertical stabilizers uh, for durability. This is an area that sees a lot of abuse, hangar rash in and out of the car and so forth, so I did not taper it, uh, but the arm and wing uh, does have that. The rudder and elevator use metal geared servos buried in the rear fuselage with push rods and of course uh, gift cards or what I'm actually using are uh, security cards, like ID cards, bought online, a thousand of them for about $35. Uh, same purpose, very strong, bent in an L, folded over, glued and taped on the bottom, makes a very inexpensive uh, control horn, and those have been used uh, throughout.